Today in Bits, we're going to talk about multimeters. Multimeters can be an incredibly useful tool, but also a little confusing. They've got a lot of numbers and symbols that you may not be familiar with, so let's try to simplify them. There's a bunch of different models, and we can't talk about all of them, but let's talk about some of the common features that you'll see on most of them. Usually a multimeter will measure at least four things. Voltage, resistance, current, and continuity. Some of them also measure temperature. There aren't a lot of pieces to a multimeter, but it will come with at least two cables, a red and a black. There'll be some ports on the front to plug those cables into, and some sort of a display, either a dial or an LCD. Some of them also have a kickstand for holding it upright. But the symbols on the front of the device are the things that might be the most confusing. So let's talk about what those are. You'll see VDC, or volts DC, or VAC, or volts AC. Now the big difference here, generally, between DC and AC DC is battery related, AC is current from the wall. That is a bit of an oversimplification, but in most cases, that's all you need to know. You'll probably also have a DCA option. That reads the DC amperage. You'll probably also see the Greek symbol for omega. That represents ohms, which is a unit of measure for electrical resistance. You'll also see a small arrow with a line at the end, which is the symbol for a diode. This feature is for measuring continuity within a circuit, and honestly, this is what I use the multimeter for the most. To use this feature, you connect the two probes to different parts of a circuit, and it'll tell you whether electricity can get from one probe through the circuit to the other probe. There may also be a speaker symbol associated with this function so that it makes an audible sound when continuity is found. Hooking up the probes is really simple, but you'll often have three ports to choose from. The black one always goes in COM, or common, but the red one can go in either one of the other two depending on the range that you're trying to sense. One for normal usage below a certain amperage threshold, which is around 400 milliamps. If you try to measure something higher than that limit, you'll probably blow a fuse. And in that case, you want to use the other port, which is generally safe up to 10 amps. Some units will also have a separate port for sensing temperature, but it's not super common. The only real work to do with a multimeter is setting the dial in the correct place. Now the first thing to figure out is whether you're working with AC or DC voltage. If your dial has different settings for different ranges, start by setting the dial to a higher range than you think you need and work your way down to a more precise measurement. If your reading is showing as one, that means you're too low and you need to move the dial up. Overall, the multimeter is a super handy tool for troubleshooting any problems with your electronics projects. You can always check your power source to make sure that it is outputting exactly what you think, and then you can move on to checking the continuity of the circuit that you're working with. You can even check to make sure that a wire is not live and that could save your life. If you've got some other use or tips or tricks around a multimeter, please leave them down in the comments and we can all learn together. I've got a whole playlist of other Bits videos that you may be interested in. Check some of those out. I'll be back really soon with a new project. I'll see you then.